guys, what's so, up? This is Place the Movie Fan, and it's time for another episode review. This time I will be reviewing yet another episode of Prison Break, and this time I'm reviewing a double length episode. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get started. The episode begins with Michael Schofield sneaking out of his cell yet again. Yep, it happens in every fucking episode. So it's really nothing new. Meanwhile, outside the cells, Veronica tells Nick that she doesn't want his help anymore. I am sorry to say, but I really think that makes her an ungrateful bitch. Without Nick, she wouldn't be this fucking close to finding out the truth on what really happened regarding the case. And then later, Veronica meets up with Michael Schofield behind the gates. And she recently found out that Lincoln Burroughs is Michael Schofield's brother. And I'm gonna have to admit, that is indeed very interesting. I'm glad she realized that. But why the hell did Michael Schofield tell her from the beginning? Ah, but dear, it doesn't matter. Now what I like about this episode a lot is the fact that we get to see more of T-Bag. And there are many scenes in the episode that focus on him where Michael Schofield is nowhere to be found. Fucking awesome. What I love about this episode is also the fact that it really shows how dangerous of a cunt T-Bag is. And it also shows that he is one of the most dangerous criminals in the prison. Which really makes him a fucking badass. Later on, Michael Schofield turns off the fucking air conditioning. That of course causes a fucking riot since T-Bag, along with the rest of his prison friends, hate the fucking heat. In fact, the riot is so bad that the prisoners manage to break into an area they normally wouldn't be able to break into. You know what I think of this riot? I think it's very fucking scary. They thought that prisoners could have more power than the fucking guards is very scary indeed. The prison guards can get seriously injured along with the rest of the people who work there. Oh my god. Later on in the episode, T-Bag decides to start attacking Lincoln Burroughs. And I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on all the scenes in general of this episode where Lincoln has to fight somebody. I find all the scenes to be very fucking brutal and I'm legitimately scared that Lincoln could get seriously injured or even die. And I'm just sitting there hoping that he will fucking survive. It really would fucking suck if he died. But yeah, Lincoln does get hurt and it feels very real indeed. And then Michael Schofield uses a light to display an image of a fucking monster and his plan is to make a lot of holes to that wall to make it easier to break. I'm just wondering what the hell that thing is supposed to be. It doesn't really matter since it doesn't affect the story that much but I am wondering a bit. But anyway, does this plan work? We will find out later on in the episode and I will talk about that scene when we get to it. The riot is so bad that even the fucking governor doesn't like it at all. Also, for those of you who don't know, the governor's daughter is Sarah. That should be useful information. This riot is so fucking bad that not even Sarah is safe. In fact, she seems very fucking scared. And you know what? I sympathize with her. Those bastards are very fucking dangerous. I really hope that Sarah will make it out of there alright. But it doesn't fucking seem that way though. Meanwhile, in an airplane, Veronica all of a sudden trusts Nick. Wait a minute, wasn't she trying to dismiss him earlier on in the episode? Why the hell does he trust him again all of a sudden? That just seems weird to me and doesn't make much sense. And to be honest, I find that a flaw of the episode. 
Well, at least nothing in the prison itself is a flaw of the episode. And I should be happy about that and I am. Later on in the episode, what looks like an FBI car, in fact several of them, drive to the prison property. Wow, even the fucking FBI wants to stop that out of control riot. And you know what? I am hoping that they will be able to stop that fucking riot. Now one more thing to say. It's a good thing that nobody knew that the Schofield was behind this. Because if they did, he would be in a lot of fucking trouble. In fact, he could even be executed for that. Later on, Michael Schofield fucking saved Sarah from those dangerous bastards. Unfortunately though, those bastards won't give up until they hurt Sarah. Why the hell do they want to hurt Sarah so bad anyway? Other than the fact that they are fucking sociopaths. Meanwhile, outside the prison cells, Lincoln's son wants to see the news since he's worried about his father. And oh boy, that woman who is raising him is a total cunt. I mean seriously, how the hell can she dismiss what's happening to Lincoln as not important? Lincoln's son has every right to be fucking upset. I'd be too. Now remember earlier on in the review when I talked about how a monster driving would become relevant later on in the episode? Well now is the time to talk about it. Michael Schofield's plan fucking worked. And I'm not surprised most of his plans work perfectly well. Hell yeah! Later on, Michael Scoville is very close to being shot. And I find that very fucking scary. In fact, I had a feeling that he was really gonna be shot. But nope, he manages to fucking dodge the bullets. And those bastards who want to kill Sarah for some illogical reason, I still don't know why, get shot instead. That's beyond fucking awesome. Lincoln Burroughs beats a lot of people up looking for his brother, Michael Schofield. And I must admit, it is a great scene to see them hug each other. Because that's what great brothers do. I must admit, the scene where Sarah meets her father again is very fucking sad because she had to deal with those fucking bastards who almost killed her. But she's doing fine and and her father isn't happy about that. In fact, he's very worried and rightfully so. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I have yet to review a bad Prison Break episode, but now I have reached an episode that's good but not great. All the scenes taking place at the prison are fucking awesome. But I don't like how Veronica stopped trusting Nick over Sutton and went back to trusting him the same fucking episode. That just doesn't fit right to me. But it's still an enjoyable episode of overall, but not great, so I'm gonna give it one thumb up. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.